Mwishimua munya, siju nita kui describe na mnagani. One of the most honest, trusted, the semeni honest, trusted, and direct. He speaks his mind. Mwishimua baba, unajua ukiwa maali mimi utetemeka. Siju ni figo ama ni nini, na hiyo kutetemuka kwangu ni fraa. Because of Baba to Kwapa. And because of Baba, I am alive. And because of Baba, hata wendo ufanya na mnai, kuniondoa kwa Baba, we mwenyendi otajiondoa. Mwishimiwa iji ni wamalwa, mwishimiwa pia wandai, mwishimiwa wakitui, nimekula kwako, najua vile ukona mrembo, kwa natengeneza chakula mzuri. Ningependa kusema hivi. Kwanda ningetaka kumshukuru Baba, na ningetema, ningetaka kukosoa pia, sio baba. Na ningetaka kumuonya mwishimiwa munya. Kwa mba ukienda bungoma, ukienda bungoma, tafta yujin. Ukienda bungoma, tafta baba. Ukienda bungoma, tafta wajakoya. Manake kule kuna mkatili fulani kule sita taja jinaki. Ambaye kazi yake ni kulin, kungojea wale wanasiasa wenzake wakienda bungoma anatengeneza mawe na hiyo mawe anatoka wapi Uganda na anatengeneza watu na visu kwenda kupiga wengine na kuangamiza kule bungoma baba sijui kama ninasema ukweli bwana munya ukienda huko mheshimiwa chunga there is a politician from bungoma county a man who can never be elected apart from fear causing fear among people a man who has put other people's lives at stake because Anadaku, he wants to please Ruto. Let me bring it out clearly that we are aware of him and we are also going to warn him. Akienda mahalipengine Kenya, musimfukuze, welcome him. But ujinga wake, na mimi ndiyo nimesema, utaisha before 2027. That man should know that Kenya of today is a Kenya of young and old, is a Kenya of men and women, is a Kenya of people who have gone through the transition, the transition of democracy led by none other than Raila Molodinga. A man who has suffered, a man who has endured suffering, a man who has been in prison, a man who has been fed in so, on so many things, but he refused to die because his spirit is still alive. It's because of that spirit of Raelo Moladinga that all of us are here. It is because of that spirit that some of us want to smell and get away with a bit of it. So that we can come to self-realization. And we as members of Roots Party, please, if you have joined Munyas, na una tumianga ele kitu ingine, tafadhali kaa huko. Tutakuitaji huko. Manake najua hata kwa kinamunya kule. Wakani likuwa natangaza kuwa rais. Ningi likuwa nataka kuwa perekea kiwanja hapo isiolo. Ndiyo sasa tukimea hile ingine na hii ingine. Tunatua hapo tukipereka huko inje. Lakini baba hata kamelisha hiyo. Kwa si baba niambia. Akichukua. Ataweka kakitu ingine hapo isiolo. Surely baba want to ask you openly. Notoriously. And in front of everybody. Kwa amba watu wa isiolo. Or isiolo county. Isiolo should be made the capital city of Kenya. Nimesema ama sijasema? Na Nairobi should remain an industrial city. Because with Isiolo being a capital city of this nation, the people of Meru, the people of Garissa, the people of any other neighboring from Mount Kenya will have easy access to the international market. Kutakuwa na kuajiriwa kazi pale, maa hospitali zita pandwa pale, zita jengwa pale, 
Punda mtu haita kufa kutoka ukikija Nairobi. Na hiyo mimi namuomba baba afikirie because baba you are the president. Ilichukuliwa tu lakini you are the president. Na hii yote ni malilio ya watu wa Roots Party. Ili wameru mahali wamekaa. Wakamba ambao wanatoka Eastern. Waria wote mahali walioko. Na waislamu wote ambao wako pande hiyo. Wawe na access to the international market because what they are producing today can help this country rejuvenate economically. We can move on because Nairobi is congested. Let us have a mindset of moving away from here and devolve our capital city. Finally, I'm also asking Baba to reconsider bringing in three tiers of government. It was Baba's original idea, but then we are for it in Roots Party. And Mwishmiwa Munya also want to look at it that way. So that we have a federal government. Federal meaning regional government. So that we can have counties within a state. So that we can have counties within a state. Ndiyo wakuria, wawe na county yao. Wateso, wawe na county yao. Watu wa saboti, wawe na county yao. Lakini kwa mrengo ya state. So that we have regional governments. Pale taxation will be easy. We shall have fair taxation. We shall have regional taxation. State taxation. And every state will be given its obligation and duty. We cannot take a, a county like Narok. Which produces rice or wheat. Hides and skins, meat and milk and tourism. Pesa mbae inatoa pale inaperekwa central government. Ili wapewe kidogo. Iyo ni uongo. Watu wa naro kwa natakana wakai kwa county yao. Wakiwa na regional assembly na kuru. Ili waseme wa kwamba ile pesa mbae imetoka county yetu hapa. How do we develop this first to us so that we could have a national ceiling? Na nimesema hivyo. Tafadhali siku ingine nitaongea. Na munya ukija kwetu kakamega kuna mrembo wa